how's it going welcome back to my channel guardian cold spring harbor welcome back to long island new york zone 7a the time to start your fall garden veggies and herbs is now guys now is the perfect time to start planting sowing and transplanting all of your fall garden veggies and herbs in today's video we're going to talk about all the mistakes that us gardeners cannot afford to make if we want to have a successful fall vegetable garden guys we're going to go over every single one of the mistakes that all of us home gardeners must absolutely avoid if you want to have a successful fall garden so for those of you looking for that online garden channel that offers tips tricks easy get proven garden advice to take your home garden to that next level don't go anywhere guys stick around with me today start with going below this video and clicking the subscribe button and if you are enjoying the content of my gardening videos click the bell icon as well YouTube will notify you every single time I'll upload a new gardening video now come with me let's talk about all those mistakes we must absolutely avoid in order to have a successful fall vegetable garden so mistake number one that all of us home gardeners should absolutely avoid when it comes to fall vegetable garden is we must always think about what vegetables and what herbs we're choosing to sow and grow in the fall season remember the veggies and the herbs that you pick must be cool weather loving crops here in my backyard garden area i have some cucumbers growing some summer squash growing we have some tomatoes still growing but again guys those are all warm weather loving crops those are the crops that we grow predominantly in the summer hot months so remember guys the fall vegetables that you will be sowing transplanting and growing must again be cool weather loving crops meaning they will thrive in temperatures 75 degrees Fahrenheit or below so our vegetables like cucumbers tomatoes squash eggplant peppers those are not the vegetables that we can or even should be growing in the fall cooler month remember the key is 75 degrees Fahrenheit or below if the vegetables you're considering planting thrive in 75 degree or below temperatures then those are the vegetables and the herbs that you should be sowing and growing in the fall and even into your winter season months here are some of my seedlings that i sowed and started from seeds for my fall vegetable garden guys i have some cold hardy beans over here i have some winter squash over here I have multiple varieties of radish in this container and this container as well. I also have dill growing in this container over here. So there are quite a few veggies that are already started from seed. I also have started my cabbage, my broccoli, and my cauliflower from seeds as well. All of these veggies and herbs are cool weather loving veggies and in fact another great thing about cool weather loving veggies is that not only will they thrive in the fall season they can even tolerate light frost which is absolutely perfect mistake number two that all of us home gardeners should absolutely avoid when it comes to fall vegetable gardens is starting our plants from seed either too late or too early in the season guys if you start sowing your seeds too late into the season your first anticipated frost date might come and you will not get a good harvest out of your crops and if you start your seedlings too early in the season they might they might get so large too early when the outside air temperatures are still in the 80s the 90s and even hundreds so it might be too early to transplant transplant them into your full garden so you might lose crops from that 
as well. So timing is crucial. It is absolutely essential to time the sowing of your seeds and the time when you transplant your seedlings when it comes to fall vegetable garden. I always advise to think about your first anticipated frost date. Here in zone 7A, our first anticipated frost date is around October the 15th. So I always like to start sowing my seeds inside, indoors and seed starting trays about eight to 10 weeks before my anticipated first frost date. So for those of you, my fellow gardeners who live in warmer gardening zones and say you don't have a frost date or frost at all in the garden zone in which you live, then uh, my advice is to look at the weather forecast. You guys can go on a website such as weather.com and take a look at the future cast weather in the zone where you live and look for when the temperatures start to go down into the mid 70s. You wanna see a few days of that 75 degree weather or below. And that is when you start, start considering transplanting or sowing your uh, seeds or your seedlings. So in that case, I always like to go back about six weeks from the time when your air temperature will be 75 degrees or below and to start sowing those fall vegetable seeds for six weeks before your air temperature will be consistently 75 degrees or below. Mistake number three that we should avoid at all cost is starting our seeds in the wrong location. Again, guys, remember these are cool weather loving crops and if the air temperatures are still in the 80s, 90s, and even in the hundreds, we should always start our seeds inside, indoors, under growing lights, guys. You could see over here, I have yet another one of my seed starting trays. In this one, I have some cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower, so our brassicas. Right now, they're inside, indoors, doing well under this growing light. And for those of you who don't have a growing light, guys, I do recommend investing in one. I got this guy over here from Amazon and it was quite affordable and I use it in the early spring when I'm starting my you know, summer uh, plants, summer growing plants. And I also use this guy over here in the late summer when I'm starting my fall vegetable garden seeds plants. The next mistake we must avoid at all cost is picking the wrong location to transplant our seedlings into. Remember guys, in the fall months, there are less hours of daylight and also the angle of the sunlight changes as well. So where you have more hours of sunlight during the summer is not going to be the same location where you're going to have as many hours of uh, daylight or sunlight as possible in the fall months. So to, for those of you who are not sure where, what location to choose when it comes to planting your fall crops, just think about it this way. The area or the location where you get sun last during the summer months, say more towards the evening hours, will be the location where your plants will get most amount of sunlight during the fall months. So just be very careful where, when it comes to transplanting your seedlings. Don't assume that if your plants thrived here in this location during the summer months, you got an abundant harvest, does not mean you're going to get an abundant harvest or even success with your crops in that same location during the fall months. So again, the location where you get sun last at the latest part of the day during the summer will 99% be the best location in terms of sunlight during the fall months. The next mistake to avoid at all costs is holding on for too long to our warm weather loving crops. And I know that all of us gardeners at one point or another have or even, you know, are making that mistake current. Here, for example, I have my summer green bush beans. 
you could see that there are no more new blooms whatsoever on this crop. Yes, there are still some green beans left on this plant, but you do not see any more blooms whatsoever. So in fact, this is the perfect time to say goodbye to these green summer green beans. And as you pull out these bushes out of your home garden, you can harvest the remainder of the beans and, and properly discard of them. Prepare your raised garden beds by amending it, by raking it out, by getting rid of all the weeds, by fertilizing it and basically getting it ready for your next set of veggies or herbs for your fall vegetable garden. For those of you guys who still have carrots growing from the spring season in your home garden, right now is also an excellent time to say goodbye to this beautiful vegetable because carrot is a cool weather loving crop and in fact you could start growing a new batch of carrots now look at these guys they're ready to be picked another mistake to avoid at all costs when it comes to fall vegetable garden is not protecting our vulnerable delicate seedlings from mother nature guys i know we're expecting our frost day to come at a certain point but then frost can come and surprise us unexpectedly so have those frost cloths frost protection cloths or even some quilted blankets ready on hand in case mother nature decides to surprise us and for those of you who live in those warmer gardening zones where maybe you don't have frost at all but you do have very very high temperatures instead say in the 80s the 90s or 100s have that uh, heat protective cloths out and ready you do not want to traumatize you do not want to um, stress out your seedlings this is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here in Long Island, New York, Zone 7A. In today's video, we spoke about all the mistakes that we home gardeners should avoid at all costs in order to have maximum success with our fall vegetable gardens. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments below, have you made any of these mistakes that we spoke about today? I know I for sure had made most likely all of the mistakes that I spoke about today in the past. Let me guys know if you made those mistakes, what steps did you take to correct these mistakes? If you guys enjoyed the content of this video, show me that support by clicking thumbs up below. And for those of you who haven't yet subscribed to my gardening channel, Gardening Cold Spring Harbor, don't wait anymore guys do so today super easy for you to do just go below this video and click the subscribe button if you enjoyed the content of today's video if you found today's video to be useful informative helpful in any way click the bell icon as well youtube will notify you every time i'll upload a new garden video be healthy happy and be well guys happy gardening and i'll see you again in my new upcoming gardening videos bye guys